Greetings YouTubers, this is Alan B. Meek, and today I'm going to demonstrate for you the latest Ubuntu version 10.4 or Lucid Links. They released a beta last week and I installed it on my EEE PC 900A. This comes standard with 1 gig of RAM, an Atom processor, an 8.9 inch display, and an internal 4 gig SD drive, hard drive. And the first part of the video, I'm going to show it booting up, and the second part up, I'm going to use uh, GTK Record My Desktop to show you some of the new features. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my SD card. This contains Ubuntu 9.10. Uh, this is my daily uh, operating system. It contains most of my files that I need to get um, some web design work done. Uh, it's 8 gigabytes and uh, it's a bit faster than the internal hard drive. So now I'm going to go ahead and set it up here and boot it for you. After I installed it, I, I timed it and took it roughly 52 seconds to uh, go from uh, turn on to uh, the cursor being available. And I usually count a full boot up, a full load, as when I'm able to see my pointer. Of course, on newer, faster machines, the boot up is supposed to be under 30 seconds. There's no splash screen. But here we have it. Now, I'm using GTK Record My Desktop here. So it's a little bit clearer the changes that's been made in this version of Ubuntu. Uh, look like they have borrowed a lot of cues from Linux Mint. Uh, the Linux Mint themes are, are quite attractive and they seem to have borrowed some from them. Uh, at first glance it doesn't look that much different from 9.10 but there's some subtle differences. Number one is the new theme. They use aubergine or eggplant as the color rather than human brown. So up here we have that first square was for GTK then you have the network the up and down arrows. Now you have um, the battery status. This right here is for rhythm box. I must have hit the rhythm box button earlier by mistake. Battery status. Let's go ahead and close this down. And we have the sound, the volume. This is for chat, email, and the standard email program is uh, Evolution. Personally, I use Thunderbird. Calendar. Here's for notifications. Get rid of this calendar here. This icon is for notifications. Here is for the social aspects of it. You have your chat accounts, broadcast account, Ubuntu One. Uh, and here's where we shut down, restart, hibernate, sleep, log out, etc. And here you see basic uh, items here. This is on the file folders, nothing new here. First thing I did once I installed was I installed a program called Local Purge, or Locale Purge, excuse me. And I ran that and it got rid of all the languages that I don't need. Uh, since I speak English, U.S. English, that's all I need. So it, I was able to recover some disk space. So I have about 1.2 gigabytes free on my 4 gig SD drive, and that's okay for just you know casual computing. Uh, on my 8 gig card, I have all the programs that I need uh, and more, and I still have about 2 gigs available for incidental storage. 
Under accessories, you see the standard. They have Tomboy. Uh, I'm not much of a mono fan. I certainly don't. I'm not a fan of Tomboy, so I'm going to remove that. Under games, they have my favorite um, Solitaire. Under graphics, they did remove GIMP. Okay, they said to save disk space. So they have Open Office as the drawing program and a simple scanner routine. But I will install the GIMP because you need a full featured uh, graphics editor. And F Spot, I'm glad they didn't put that there because I, I it's only crashed when I use it. In the internet, we have Empathy, I am client, client, Firefox browser, Gwibber, Social Client, and Transmission BitTorrent. The KDE version doesn't have Firefox installed by default, but they have a simple one-click method of installing it. Under Office, they bow to pressure. Ubuntu bow to some pressure. They originally were not going to install Open Office in the interest of saving this space, but they did uh, install Office in this version 3.2, and that's a good move. You want to have a full featured Office suite. Under sound and video, we have cheese webcam. Uh, on the 900A, which I have, there's no webcam. Movie player, Rhythm Box is a default music player. It also is a default player for Ubuntu One Music Store, their new music store that's available. I understand they're developing plugins for Banshee. Uh, I'll never install Banshee, but It'll be available for those who like Banshee and Amarok on the KDE. And here are the, um, here's one thing I want to show you. This was very controversial, the location of the uh, shutdown buttons, the minimizing the shutdown buttons or the exit buttons for a routine. They move them to the left side versus the right side where they usually are. Uh, I don't see the controversy there. It's, it's easily adaptable. I mean, I'm able to figure it out. I think Ubuntu has done the hard part, Canonical has done the hard part, in making an operating system that can install on a wide variety of hardware. So here's a new look at Ubuntu Lucid Lynx version 10.4. The full version, the full release is due April 29th. Thanks.